Hey Girl Can Fish friends. So I'm going through a transition. And if you pay attention to my uh, Instagram account, uh, you know that big things are coming. The tragedy of the childhood lake has been drained and all the fish died. And so there was a tipping point and the tipping point came. And so changes are being made. And I'm holding this phone in my house in my hallway, waiting for my neighbor to finish cutting his lawn so that we can take my trailer out in the driveway and I can do some modifications to it um, and uh, tell you what that's all about. Um, so yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, because I will be giving away teaser images of the transition happening. Um, you just go to Instagram and look for girl can fish, one word, girl can fish, and that's where you'll find me on Instagram. So, the transition is happening. And so I have had, I'm, I'm I gotta switch hands, my arm's getting tired. Um, I'm, I'm, let me just lean up against the wall. Okay, here we are. Oh, that's more comfortable. Okay, here we are. Um, so, um, so I have to prepare for this new change, and I have to change the trailer. And I'll take you to the trailer in just a minute. Um, so here's what's the truth. If you plan to have one of those Megalodon uh, heavy as lead uh, kayaks that um, mm, you got to have muscles to pick up, I highly suggest you get a low, let me just change this point of view right here, oh isn't that lovely. Um, you need to get a um, low bed trailer um, because the trailer that I bought which is a Malone micro, micro something, my brain's not with me. I got the sleepies after lunch. Um, micro sport, there we go, hey I do have a memory. Um, it's the Malone Microsport. So if you go to Malone Auto Racks, I think that's it. Just look for Malone Trailer. Google Malone Trailer and you'll get to their website. And so in my infinite um, unprepared ways of being, um, you know, a new kayak owner as of two years ago, I just saw a trailer and I bought it. I didn't know that 33 inches would make a huge difference. Oh, but it does. Oh, but it does. In order to lift and shove and get Big Nelly off of the trailer, um, we, I'm going to have to move. Sorry, I'm going to have to move. We're going to have to move this other arm because it's getting tired. I don't have my GoPro, which is a little tiny thing. So um, here we go. Oh, much better. Um, so there's, the, yeah, so I had to push and shove and get into the water with Big Nelly because she needed help getting into the water. Because when I backed the trailer down, as far as my back tires and exhaust pipe would go, before I was blowing bubbles in the water with my exhaust pipe, um, Nelly was still not hitting the water. I, would, I had to still put on, put rubber boots on and shimmy myself across the trailer tongue, unhook her and start shoving her off the back of the trailer, which was not really working for me because I'm a unique individual. I know there's some people that have allergies and my unique allergy is to um, algae. Algae in the water just sends me into an eczema itch. It dries out my skin, I get a rash, and it takes forever to go away. So I just don't even go there anymore. I don't even get in the water. I mean, even in the summertime where I'm wearing, oh God, I'm getting tired. When I'm wearing uh, water shoes, um, yeah, I get eczema, dry skin, itchiness. So I do, I prepare so that I make sure that I'm not in the water. Um, even in the summertime when I'm on the water a lot and I stick my hand in the water like to retrieve a fish or something, I get eczema on the back of my hands and on my wrists. It's crazy. So I 
have prepared all the time. Don't get in the water, put boots on, you know, put on waders, uh, put gloves on, you know, all these precautions I do. Um, but any, at any rate, um, so I have purchased, so I have the, I have the Malone Sport Trailer, Micro Sport Trailer. That's the regular one that has, that has the, the, the U-bars. I'll show you here in a minute. It has the U-bars. And I bought, y'all get this, so if you have a Micro Sport Trailer and your back is just not strong enough, ladies, gentlemen, with bird-like frames, um, and sit a lot, um, and have back problems all the time, uh, you might want to get the $39.99, $40, $40, it's the best $40 you'll ever invest in, the $40 kit to lower the bed so that you don't have to lift the, tr the boat 33 inches, you only have to lift it like maybe 18 or 15 at most, I don't know, I haven't measured it, we, we will measure it together. So, so that's what we're going to do today, is I'm going to convert my trailer from the regular Microsport Malone to the low bed kit for $40. And all you're getting is two steel rods. That's it. That's all you're getting is two steel rods. Because everything else you need, you can convert to the low bed. So let me go check, see if my neighbor's finished mowing his lawn. And I think somebody was, had a leaf blower going that was making noise. But at any rate, um, I'll show you what I'm doing to convert my trailer from the regular trailer to the low bed trailer. Let's hit it. So why don't we just do the details while we're here in the garage? Okay, so here, this is what y'all, y'all, for $40 I get these two pipes and I have my handy dandy Girl Scout cutter here. So let's open the package together, shall we? So I've, or, I've cheated a little bit, and I've already um, loosened the bolts. Okay, so let's let's move down here. I've I've loosened these bolts right here. See how loose that is? And also, y'all notice something different about my trailer? I got a spare tire. Cause when I bought the trailer to begin with, the Girl Scout in me said, "You know, you have to prepare. You need to prepare. Why don't you get a spare tire?" Well, since I'm going to be hitting the road with the, with the new, new, new kayak that's coming. Oh, dang. Did I give it away? Yeah, I think I did. Um, so I thought that I needed a spare tire because every car comes with a spare tire. It may be small and it may be insufficient to get you very far, but at least it's a spare tire. So I have already um, loosened all of the bol bolts that hold this, these U, these U stands. So I'm going to have to take these nuts apart. Right, let's get nutty and take it apart. Um, the, here's the other problem, and you're probably looking in the sun, but anyway, these caps kept falling off, and so I had to glue them on because every time I went in the water, they'd pop off when I slid Big Nelly off of the trailer. So I got, and I had to, I had to rescue them. They were floating on top of the water, or they were sinking, and... So I was like, you know what, dadgummit, I'm going to just glue those things on. Because I think that's going to be a problem. So you all know what's going to happen. Is I'm going to have to come in here like this. And I'm going to have to replace these bars. So I'm going to take this bar and I'm going to put it down on the bottom right here. And then I'm going to take this bar and I'm going to attach it to here. But that tire is going to be in the way like big time and I may have to move the tire um yeah because you see how the boat is over on top of the um yeah okay so Big Nelly is down on the ground finally that only took 15 minutes so you can understand why this I don't like this process we're gonna take the wings off the sea wings, these things right here, that are barely holding on. Righty tighty, lefty Lucy. Oh, I gotta tell myself that little rhyme in order to remember. Okay, righty tighty, lefty Lucy, here we go. Righty tighty, lefty Lucy. This was loose. Oh my word, this one was loose. Okay. So these are coming off. Right there. Okay. 
so let's start taking this puppy apart. Righty tidy, lefty pussy. Okay, there we go. So I took bolts off. I didn't need to take off right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remeasure this this beam, make sure it's in the middle. But I need to move these parts in more. So yeah, let's do that. Uh, where do I begin? Measuring stick. Here we are. All right, let's move this up here. Okay. All right, let's make sure that we're centered and we were on the same place we were last time. You can always make adjustments later. This is 11 inches, 10 and a half inches here. And this one is 11 and a half inches. So we need to go an inch this way. So we've got a little over 11 there. And we've got a little under 11. So let's pull it a little bit more, and we're going to go with that. Okay. Now we're going to put these bolts and fasten this down. We're going to fasten this, this back down to here. Like that. Let me get one tightened down and then we can do the rest. Look at his split. Oh, get your foot out of the way, sister. Okay, here we go, here we go, come on. Work with me, not against me. And they say, don't, don't force it, don't force it. That's about as tight as I can get it. Do the other one. Okay. That's good. Okay, now that that's there, we have to take this bar right here and center it on here. You gotta line up the holes. Doobie doobie doo. Those bolts are, um, I guess these are them. Yep, yeah, these are they. All right. All right, here we go. Does it matter which way they go? I'm just gonna go the same way that everything else is going. All right, y'all, I'm in the home stretch. All I gotta do is put the wings back on. Uh.
Here, what's going to happen? Not yet. Rock on, dude. Rock on, there's clearance. Yes. There is clearance. Yeah, baby. High five, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. 